Welcome back. Many Americans are keeping a close eye on events in Ukraine. Medics just released the latest numbers and they are grim. At least 70 activists killed in the capital city of Kiev. Some of the video coming out of this part of the world is dramatic to say the least. Well, today, government opposition leaders threw fire bombs at police lines as snipers fired back in retaliation. Then at your side's Ava Hurdle is live in the Wavy Live Center monitoring, monitoring the latest. And Ava, you talked to a Ukrainian family here. Well, that's right, Nicole. Oleg Alba is a seller stationed in Hampton Roads. He's watching events in Ukraine with interest because his brother and father are in Kiev. My father, who's in Kiev right now, says snipers are aiming for the stomach, for the head. Um, they're killing people. A chilling account of the unrest in Ukraine as clashes between police and anti-government protesters continue. Oleg Alba is disheartened over the bloodshed in his homeland. I was born in the Ukraine, but it's, I have a moral and ethical obligation to, uh, to, to su support freedom. Um, I have a First Amendment right in this country, and they don't have that in Ukraine. And um, as Americans, we all have to stand for freedom. Alba joined more than two dozen Ukrainian Americans at a rally last weekend in Norfolk's Town Point Park to show support for the protesters. The people of Ukraine are they're fighting back against a corrupt government. The protests kicked off three months ago. I want more people to understand and see I want more people to have awareness of what's going on. An awareness of what he called a people with no voice fighting for their freedom. And he believes the country will become even more frustrated, the people there more divided, and he believes Ukraine is on the verge of civil war. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.